Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. Hey, Tim Van Orden with Running Raw. Happy Independence Day, otherwise known as the 4th of July. That's what most people call it here in America, the 4th of July. But it's really called Independence Day. So I want to talk about that. The meaning of independence to you and to me. Okay? All right. Ready and go! A friend of mine was just visiting for a few days and they commented on how different I am when I'm out in the woods running as opposed to sitting at home working on the computer in my room slash office. They're like, you are so much bigger and more alive and happy and joyous when you're out running through the woods, especially up mountains. It's hard work, but you're happy. But then when you get home and you're at the computer, there's like this, this depression, this fog, this anxiety, this overwhelm that kind of takes over. And I've noticed this about myself, that when I'm out in the world, especially running, especially in the woods, man, you can't touch me. But when I go home, there's this dampening. There's this darkening that takes place. So I've been spending a lot of time thinking about this for the past two days. And what I've realized is that we have this illusion that our identity stops right here. That Tim Van Orden ends at the edge of my flesh. Like when I lived in Los Angeles, I would run to the beach, stick my toes in the water, and I'd say to myself, I'm standing on the edge of North America. <gasps> this is it, it ends right here. There's nothing but ocean. This is the very edge of the continent. And that's how we see ourselves. Like there's me and then there's everything outside of me. There's this separation. But that's not really what happens. Our environments also inform us. Our environments are also part of our identity. When we're in a strange environment, we don't notice it because we haven't had time to set up shop yet and to project our identity onto the environment like right here. These are not my woods. I'm just running through the woods as a visitor. So my energy hasn't been projected here yet. But at home, my energy is everywhere. I've created that environment. I've populated that environment with books and furniture and clothing and thoughts and memories and energy. My living space is part of my identity. It's me. It's an inanimate representation of me that feeds me and sources me and oppresses me or depresses me. The more time you spend in an environment, the more you affect it and the more it affects you. Whether it's your living space or your working space, anywhere where you spend a lot of time, it sources you. It tells you who to be, it reminds you, it guides you. We set ourselves up to succeed or fail by the environments that we create around us. The environment that I've created back there sets me up to fail, sets me up to be depressed, sets me up to be disempowered. So I have to leave, I have to become independent in order to get me back, in order to experience higher levels of joy, happiness, and function. But back there, it reminds me, no, you're the guy that's depressed. You're the guy that struggles. You're the guy that has challenges. You're the guy that doesn't like running. You're the guy that doesn't want to get out the door. But when I'm out the door, no longer getting that message, no longer being informed by that environment, I'm a different person. I am free. I am independent. This very holiday, Independence Day, is all about getting away from tyranny, being independent, no longer being under the yoke of the king, of the tyrant. But most of the tyranny that we experience in our lives is not external from another person. It's external from the environments that we ourselves have created. We create tyranny in our lives. I have created a prison that I inhabit and I wrote the rules and I built the walls and built the the cages and the bars and the locks a long time ago and I'm still living in it and it's not easy to change those environments at least not without a great deal of help personally I don't have the help yet to change my environment so in order for me to be free and independent I have to get away from that environment I have to come out here to be reminded of who I really am not of what I thought I was a long time ago when I created that environment because I was disempowered and I was a person that struggled. So I created an environment that sourced that. I created an environment that 
validated that story, that validated that belief system. But out here, that's not there. Out here, I'm getting a totally different message. Out here, the message that I get is, you can do anything. That the world is beautiful. The world is abundant. The message I get back there is, you're a loser. And, you know, life's just not going your way. And nobody loves you and nobody likes you. And yeah, just things suck. If you have created a life or an environment that disempowers you, then you are not free. You are not independent. And if we look at that word, independent, it means away from dependence. And if we look at dependence or to depend, it comes from the Latin di, which means down, and pendere, which means to hang, like a pendant. So to be dependent means to hang from something, to be suspended from something. That's what the word literally means. So we hang from these environments that we've created. We are suspended from them. We are trapped like a fly stuck in a spider's web, suspended by this net that has trapped us, this sticky web that we can't get out of. So if you've created an environment like that that disempowers you, what do you do? Well, I've learned to take myself on little mini vacations, mini holidays, every single day. I celebrate Independence Day every day of the week by getting out of the environment, getting away from the dependence, and moving into an environment that doesn't know me, that I don't know, where I can be a free person, where I can experience the environment without my previous past projections. So resolve to be independent. Every day, take the steps, get out, become a different person in a new environment. Then you can celebrate, then you can have some fireworks, and then you can declare it to the world, I am independent.